From blinking eyes that conveyed tales of horror to songs that guided the desperate to freedom, history is rich with tales of covert communications. Let's delve deep into some of the most fascinating chapters of these silent dialogues. The Blinking Prisoner of Vietnam In the thick of the Vietnam War amidst propaganda and psychological warfare, a captured American prisoner of war, Commander Jeremiah Denton, outsmarted his captors on live television. Paraded in front of cameras to show the world the humane treatment of prisoners, Denton was prompted to speak against his country. Instead, he covertly communicated with the outside world in a way his captors could never have imagined. As he spoke, he repeatedly blinked his eyes in Morse code, spelling out one chilling word, torture. Unbeknownst to the North Vietnamese, U.S. naval intelligence caught the subtle signal, confirming suspicions about the harsh treatment of American POWs. Denton's silent act of defiance was not just a desperate plea for help, but a testament to resilience and resourcefulness under the most harrowing circumstances. The Alcatraz Enigma of 1962. Surrounded by San Francisco Bay's treacherous currents, Alcatraz was deemed escape-proof. Yet beneath its daunting walls, Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers, Clarence and John, crafted a simple yet ingenious secret code. Using everyday items like scraps of paper and torn baseball glove edges, they discreetly exchanged messages. This primitive system proved effective against Alcatraz's top-tier security, guiding their every move. Their coded messages facilitated the gathering of tools, the creation of life vests, and the chiseling of an escape route through the prison's vents. Every exchanged note held the potential for discovery, but the trio's trust in their code never wavered. On the night of June 11th, the three inmates vanished into the foggy abyss using a makeshift raft. Their fate remains unknown, but their daring escape, facilitated by a simple code, has become legendary. It's a testament to the power of ingenuity and determination over complexity. Melodies of Liberation in the 1800s In the 19th century, amidst the backdrop of a nation torn on the issue of slavery, the spirituals sung by slaves carried more than just soulful melodies. They bore encrypted messages, a beacon for those desperate to escape their chains. The Underground Railroad, a shadowy network aiding slaves towards freedom, leaned heavily on these coded songs for covert communication. Harriet Tubman, the iconic conductor of this freedom train, brilliantly harnessed these spirituals as clandestine directives. Wade in the Water was not merely a hymn, but a signal to escape ease to traverse waterways, confounding the scent for pursuing bloodhounds. Go Down Moses doubled as a biblical tale of deliverance and a cue for those in hiding. But the codes extended beyond songs. Natural landmarks, constellations, and hushed phrases all formed this clandestine lexicon. The stakes were perilously high. One misstep could lead to capture and unspeakable punishment. Yet against formidable odds, this encrypted communication flourished, guiding countless souls to the promised land of freedom. The resilience and cunning of the enslaved during this era remain a shining testament to human spirit and tenacity. Diplomacy's Hidden Language The Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962 highlighted the significance of coded communications during high-stakes diplomatic events. As the U.S. and the Soviet Union teetered on the brink of nuclear war, encrypted messages became a lifeline in navigating this perilous situation. Both superpowers relied heavily on encryption to ensure that their dialogues remained confidential and free from interception. The U.S. utilized the State Department's coding system, while the Soviets employed their own encryption techniques. These encoded messages, transmitted via teletype, radio, or secure couriers, were shielded from global intelligence agencies attempting to decode them. A pivotal moment arose when the U.S. received two contrasting messages from the Soviets. The first, from Premier Khrushchev, was conciliatory, while the second, believed to be from Kremlin hardliners, was more aggressive. President Kennedy's strategic choice to respond to Khrushchev's first message signaled, in a coded manner, the U.S.'s inclination for diplomacy over confrontation. While actions like the U.S.'s naval blockade of Cuba were clear signals, it was the unseen world of coded communications that played an indispensable role in preventing nuclear conflict. This episode underscores the essentiality of secure and precise encrypted dialogues in tense international standoffs. 